This is important to know because this will happen with many stations in most markets right after June 12th. Well, June 12th has come and gone, and the United States has entered the post-analog days of over-the-air television. As an estimated 2 million Americans are still scrambling to get their television signals back, TV stations and the FCC are breathing a collective sigh of relief as the DTV transition comes to a close. If the DTV transition were a NASCAR race, six months ago, we were lagging behind, hitting walls, crashing and burning. Since then, we've got a pit stop and refueling from the administration and Congress. We've got a new driver, rebuilt the engine, and empowered the pit crew. Today, we're zooming along and about to see the checkered flag. Now that the transition period is complete, analog transmitters will be turned off, saving television stations thousands of dollars in electrical costs, as DTV signals require much less power than their analog counterparts. The news is good for television viewers too, as many digital signals are in high definition, and the number of channels that consumers can receive has increased exponentially. As a matter of fact, Jonathan Collegio of the National Association of Broadcasters said on the PBS NewsHour that, after upgrading his TV to DTV, he more than doubled the number of channels available to him. More antennas, but I tell you what, I mean, when I went from analog to digital at my house in Arlington, Virginia, I literally quintupled the number of free channels that I was able to receive, and we're seeing that in the data, we're seeing that in the survey, with three out of four people saying that they're getting better reception and more channels. As more Americans struggle to understand the concept of digital television and how to use their converter boxes, the mainstream media has been doing their part to inform the public. From national news organizations to local broadcasters, the media has had almost non-stop coverage of the television transformation. In fact, even Canadian media has been covering the U.S. switch to digital. A prime example of this is when community newspaper, The Saanich News, contacted me about running an article about digital television and the prospects of DTV in this country. Now, all of the information on TV has been related to the U.S. digital switchover, leaving many Canadians to wonder, just what is the status of digital television in this country? Tonight on Chip News. In Canada, digital OTA is limited to just a few regions that happen to have the updated transmitters. Fortunately for Canadian television viewers and broadcasters alike, the transition deadline isn't until August 2011 giving Canadians plenty of time to catch up with their American counterparts. Although digital television isn't available in all areas across Canada yet, there are a few hotspots which have local stations that broadcast in HD. If you're lucky enough to live in Vancouver, Calgary, Toronto or Montreal, then why not put up an antenna and enjoy all that HDTV has to offer? Without, of course, the monthly cable bill. For INET, this is Christopher, reporting.